that dirty water. Clean that dirty water. I wonder how many people have their blessings blocked because their water is dirty. I wonder how many people have their success blocked because their water is dirty. Now I'll tell you what I see more than I see anything else is people not reaching their potential people not being blessed the way God designed them to be blessed because their water is dirty. I lived like that for years, never knowing what my problem was. My water was dirty. So many people are satisfied with being wet in the rain. They say, well, I know I'm pleasing to God because I was in a situation and God brought me out of it. Millions of people were in that same situation and got brought out. Don't let that fool you into thinking that you're all right with God. You just got wet in the rain. Anybody who walks out in the rain is going to get wet. That's why scripture tells us that he maketh it to rain, R-A-I-N, on the just as well as the unjust. That's nothing. Everybody listening to this video, guess what? I know he woke you up this morning and started you on your way. That's just getting wet in the rain. So if you think because you woke up this morning, you had the activity of your limbs, you was in your right mind, you think that means you're all right with God? You think that means that you're living the way God wants you to live? That doesn't prove anything. There is always another level. There is always another level of faith, another level of blessings, another level of knowledge. Don't get satisfied where you are and be deceived into thinking you're all right because you got wet in the rain. So many people are not getting where they need to be because their water is dirty. Clean that dirty water. You remember when Jesus talked to the woman at the well? And he said, woman, if you knew who it was you was talking to, you would have asked for living water. And he would have given you water that if you drink of it, you will never thirst again. Jesus wanted to clean her water. I'm going to try to break this down to where everybody can understand what I'm saying. Your water has to be clean. You know that your brain is made up of a high percentage of water. I forget what that percentage is. But that's the water that Jesus wants to clean up. That's the water that Jesus wants to make 
pure. If you let that water get cleaned up, then you will never thirst again. Everything that you need is in clean water. Everything that you desire in your life is in clean water. Clean that dirty water. And it's not like cleaning that water is a one-time thing. You have to continue to keep that water clean. The book of Ephesians talks about Christ wanting to sanctify the church and clean the church, which is us. He wants to clean us with the washing of water by the word. The washing of water by the word. Now you tell me, how do you wash water? See, this is one of those scriptures that we just throw in the trash. And a lot of us probably never even heard this scripture before. Probably never even heard it being preached before. So what do you do with it? I'm telling you that the water that needs to be washed, the water that God wants to wash, the water that Christ wanted to clean for that woman at the well is right here. Clean that dirty water. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm trying to say. I'm going to show you exactly how this thing is supposed to work and how we're supposed to live by God's design. How we're supposed to live by keeping our water clean. Check this out. All right, this is what I'm talking about right here. You see this vase? It's a real nice vase. That represents us. Every one of us is a real nice vase. Because we were fearfully and wonderfully made. Nothing wrong with either one of us. But see, we're empty. And instead of us filling up on clean water, we fill up on dirt and mess. Dirty water. Now this is what Christ wants to do. This is what Christ wants to do right here. Clean water. Just pumping us full of clean water. Filling us up. Nothing but clean water. Constantly flowing. Constantly pumping. This is when you listen to Pastor Cochran right here. You getting full of clean water. This is when you get online and watch videos by Brother JT. He's speaking nothing but the word. Just clean water until you overflowing just like that. See, that overflow is when you're helping other people. You're full of clean water, so you're able to overflow on other people nothing but clean water and help people out. Now this is the problem. Instead of us staying full of clean water, 
We stop listening to people. We stop taking in the word. And our water goes just like that. And then, instead of us being concerned about keeping the water flowing in us clean, we want to do this right here. We start pumping ourselves with dirt, listening to the wrong music, hanging out with the wrong people. Nothing but dirt, dirty water. And that's how our water looks right there. Dirty water. Watching the wrong things on TV. Getting hooked on stuff that we know we shouldn't be hooked on. Going places we know we shouldn't go. And our water is so dirty. And we still think we're going to be blessed. But not so. So if we keep going, keep listening to the right people, this is why we go to church. So if we keep going to church, keep listening to the right people, and stop filling ourselves with dirt, eventually that word is going to do that right there. Clean you right back up. And you just keep the word flowing in your life. That's what I'm talking about. See, a lot of us want to help people. But we try to help people at that point right there. We're full of dirt, but we call ourselves trying to help other people. You're trying to get blessed off of the tithes and the offering. You got the tithes and the offering flowing out, but you constantly got dirt pumping in. You can't be a blessing to nobody with dirty water. You can't help nobody else accomplish nothing when your water dirty. So this is what we have to do. Let the word flow in us. Read. Study, obey, apply, keep going to church, and wash that dirty water. Don't just wash it, but keep it clean. I'm telling you how to keep blessings in your life. I'm telling you God's design for clean water. But I know few there be that find it. So you see what I mean? You have to keep your water clean. Where you want to get to in life, you'll never get there with dirty water. What you want to accomplish in your life, and how you want to end up, ultimately, you'll never make it with dirty water. Clean that dirty water.